Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. As a part of Telugu series, today's topic focuses on basic understanding of QRM principles in a simple way in vernacular Telugu language. This slide talks about risk. What is a risk? It is an adverse impact on the quality of the product or process. Risk is a measure of combination of several aspects to impact the quality of the product badly to yield poor quality product. Can this risk be identified? How serious is the risk are important points to focus? How frequently it can happen? Can the risk be identified before it could endanger the product quality. By full understanding on the identification of risk, its seriousness and mitigation, risk on the product quality can be controlled well. This risk cycle strategy should be adopted throughout the life cycle of the product. Life cycle means as long as the product is being manufactured. Here, the risk management is described. First thing to start with is the risk identification. After identification, next is to find out its impact on the quality of the product. How frequently it can happen, how early it could be detected are important aspects to study. ICH Q9 prescribes eight QRM tools to carry out the risk assessment effectively. There can be other tools also, but for pharmaceutical manufacturing, these tools are very useful. We will go through in detail in the coming up slides on these tools. This slide is all about how the risk management is done. Three important aspects of assessment of risk management, identification, analysis and evaluation are discussed in this slide. It is also prescribed that the identified risk aspects are further addressed as smaller components to get more accurate evaluation and assessment. Importantly, the identification starts with a basic question, what can go wrong? The question should continue till the complete risk is captured. Aspects like severity of the risk and probability of occurrence and its detectability should be completely captured. Entire risk analysis will revolve around these three aspects. This slide explains about the risk assessment. The assessment has to be carried out by a team of subject matter experts. The team should have a leader for communication and one point contact. There is a reference that the risk evaluation and assessment should be done with a timeline. This discusses more on the risk assessment. Aspects like what can go wrong, how frequently it can happen, what is its seriousness how quickly the risk could be detected, etc. These questions have to be answered to assess the impact on the quality of the product. Depending upon the assessment, whether or not the risk is acceptable should be assessed. The acceptable risk is also called a residual risk. If it is not within the residual risk, Mitigation plans have to be prescribed. Risk assessment should be done in a scientific way. It may be revising the existing system or modifying the existing procedures to mitigate the risk. The system may be infrastructural or procedural. These are the part of this slide. This slide gives a clue on identification of the risk. It describes that risk 
is identified with a question what can go wrong followed by its impact on the quality of the product how many times it occurred theoretically what can go wrong etc here risk control mitigation is described this also says that whether the risk is within acceptable limits or not if it is within limits routine procedures should be adequate to mitigate the risk if it is not then mitigation plans are required it is also necessary to look into any new risk while addressing the existing risk this is continuation of the information of the previous slide risk management communication is referred here this slide prescribes that the risk assessment should be communicated among the stakeholders stakeholders include internal customers external customers regulatory authorities etc this activity is a continuous process throughout the product life cycle this slide gives information on several qrm tools for risk management the risk management tools include flow charts check sheets process mapping cause and effect charts fmea fmeca fta hacccp hazop pha and risk ranking and filtering fmea definition of fmea and typical examples are provided in this slide if there is a failure of scheme supply which is a fault the result would be that there is no completion of reaction of the reactants in the process which is a failure if there is a leak in the valve there will be loss of material if the operator is not trained adequately the batch output will be questionable if there is no detailed sop the operator may not carry out the job as expected similar examples may be made for all steps of the process fmeca difference between fmea and fmeca is described in this fmea is a qualitative evaluation like low risk moderate risk or high risk whereas in fmeca the criticality is assessed by score for each severity probability and detectability of course the outcome in both the tools will be the same fta this tool is prescribed here this tool is very useful for addressing the market complaints and deviations also fta operates in opposite direction of fmea risk ranking and filtering this risk ranking and filtering tool is very useful for vendor audits star rating of the vendors would optimize the resources for supplier inspections or audits if the supplier is five star rated once in five years may be okay for reinspection if rating is low frequency of the reinspection may have to be more aspects that may impact the supply include pass rate of supply delivery time compliance to gmp procedures of providing all necessary supporting documentation to establish the compliance to gmp it is not really required to have audits of all suppliers every 2 years the audit schedule may be staggered depending upon the star rating of the supplier the other important qrm tools are described here these tools hacccp hazop pha are used infrequently in pharmaceutical manufacturing content of hazop will be covered to significant extent in fmea tool also i hope that this content of video is simple to understand try to make risk assessments on simulated examples to get experience on this you get amazing results if you practice the usage of these tools of qrm effectively 
review your deviation reporting procedure and market complaint procedure to check whether or not the requirement of usage of FTA tool is reflected in the SOP. Also review your vendor audit procedure, check whether or not the risk ranking and filtering tool can be applied for re-inspection of your suppliers of materials. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.